Welcome back YouTube to Rick's YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can get your Fortnite account on your Nintendo Switch. So if you started playing Fortnite and you didn't link your account, you just press skip this and then press no thanks, it would have created a ghost account. Now that would have linked a ghost account to your Nintendo account and there is no way of logging out until you upgrade that ghost account and the full Epic Games account. Once you can do that, you can unlink it from your Nintendo Switch and then play on your different account. So I want to show you how you unlink a ghost account or a headless account on the Nintendo Switch. First off, make a new email. Don't use the same email as your regular Fortnite account. Go over to Gmail. Remember the password as well because you're going to need to log in on your email and pick up a verification email from Epic Games. So. I'm going to shoot over to Epic Games now and show you how to do it. But first off, I'm going to put this in the dock so you can see me switch from a ghost account and then add my normal Fortnite account to it. So I'm capturing my Nintendo Switch through the Elgato. I'm just going to hop over on the PC and we're going to go straight to Epic Games. It's on the Epic Games website now. Make sure you're signed out if you're already signed in. And then you're going to hit sign in. Once you're on this screen here, you're going to press the Nintendo Switch logo. Hit that. It's going to ask you to sign in for existing users. So if you don't have an account, you can create a Nintendo Switch account, but I'm sure everyone has a Nintendo Switch account. So you can press sign in. So my account is up there. I've hit my email and password. Press sign in. And now it's given me the option to create an Epic Games account. So I'm going to have to create an Epic Games account so I can disconnect it and then add my account. So you'll need to fill in all your details. And remember when I said about making a new email, that's where you're going to put your new email address in there. And also create a password. And I do recommend writing everything down. If you make a certain mistake on the email, it will send a random email to the wrong email address and then you won't be able to disconnect or verify the account. So you will not be able to unlink it from that Nintendo account. So always make sure you put the correct email address in. And once you put in all your details, remember to click both the boxes and then press create an account. Once you've done that, you can go to account it will ask you to verify an email. It's already sent out. Uh, you can go to connected accounts and there you can see the Nintendo Switch is now connected to an Epic Games account. So all I'd have to press now is disconnect. So I'm gonna go over to my email now and just verify this email from Epic Games. You've successfully changed the email address associated with your Epic Games account. This is not the verification email. Sometimes you have to go back to Epic Games, click resend, then go over to your email, press refresh. Go back out to the inbox and it says there, please confirm your email. I'm going to verify my email now. It'll send you over to Epic Games. It'll ask you to press continue and that's you all verified with your Epic Games account now. So I'm going to go to connected accounts, I'm going to press disconnect, I'm going to click all the boxes, press unlink, you can see it's been unlinked now so I've upgraded it from a ghost account with no password or email to a full Epic Games account now so I can uh, unlink it or link it to whatever Nintendo account I want. I'm just going to get on the Joy-Con now and try and jump into a game because what I want it to do is to boot me out of the game. I could simply just restart Fortnite but I just thought I'd show you what will happen. So I'm going to close the PC down. And as you can see we have now been logged out. It's going to try and log back in but you'll get to the account linking page this is where you're going to put your account in that you're trying to connect to so if you've made a mistake and simply press skip this and created that ghost account now it's going to give you the option to put your real fortnite account in 
and now we can link our Fortnite account. So press A, it come up with this unique code that you'll need to go over to www.epicgames forward slash activate. So I'll just get that up on the screen now. So I'm back on the PC. This is the activation page. Because I've already signed into Epic Games when I upgraded the ghost account, I don't want to link it to the ghost account. So I'm going to press here. It's going to say not you, click here. And then it'll log out. And this is where I'm going to put my Fortnite account. But once you've put the account you want to link it to, remember, don't press the Nintendo sign. Just put your account, your Epic Games account that you actually want to play on here. And also put the email in. Press login. You'll log in and then you'll go back to your Nintendo and put the code which is on the screen into the box. Then I'm going to press continue. It says your device has been activated. It should refresh shortly. It usually takes between 15 and 20 seconds. So now I'm back on my original account. You can see everything's working. So that's how you get an account on the Nintendo Switch. So if you have made a ghost account that you can't unlink, just follow the steps that I just showed you and you should be able to unlink that account and then play on whatever Fortnite account that you'd like. Remember, if this video helps you out, please leave a like, remember to subscribe, and I shall get back to you with another video. Thanks for watching.